Hi guys, how are you going? Jeremy here. Today we'll be doing something a bit different. We'll be making a Van de Graaff generator. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, a Van de Graaff generator is made of four main parts. You've got the motor, the belt, the ball, and then the brushes. The motor powers a belt which runs up and down. Electrons get attracted to the bottom of the belt. They get forced up through the belt into the top ball which is sitting up top. They end up piling up in there so much that eventually they have to just shoot off somewhere and hit the closest thing which is usually your hand, maybe another ball that sits next to it zapping across. Let's get into it. So the first part of a Van de Graaff generator is the motor. So what we're going to do, I've got here just a bit of wood. We're going to mount a motor to it, right, which will power the belt that goes up and down. The motor I'm going to be using is actually from a drill. This is an old drill I found. I'm going to rip it open, take the motor out and see how we're going to mount it. Let's go. Alright, so that's the first stage done, the motor bit. I'll just take a quick recap of what we've done. So I've got the drill motor here, two wires coming out the back. One of them I've taken and wired to a switch underneath here. One going in, taking the other side and brought the other one from the drill, the other one from the switch to this little clip here. This isn't the bottom of the drill, it's what keeps the battery in place. So what you can do is just have an, any old drill battery, like this one here, cl clamp it on to the switch here, like that nice and secure and turn it on and that's pretty much all you have to do just have a motor you can turn it on and off however you want you can. all right so that's that bit done all right so now we've done the first part which is the motor it's time to move on to the second bit which is the belt so we're going to start by getting just this bit here this ending for a pvc pipe mounting that to the bottom there and i've got actually 750 length of 100 mil pvc pipe we're going to stick on top of that and we'll have a rod going from the drill into the bottom of the pipe, one at the top of the pipe, and the belt will run between them. So for the belt, I've actually got a proper belt from eBay, a Van de Graaff generated belt. Basically just a bit of silicon stretched into a loop. The bottom shaft will be running to the bottom of this belt, and the top will go to the top, and as the drill spins, it'll spin the belt like this, and create friction at the top. And that's what forces all the electrons up the belt into the big ball at the top, and cause it to spark electricity. Let's get into that. Right, so now the pipe is in place. I'll just show you what I've done quickly. So I've mounted it to the bottom using this pipe fitting here, just four screws holding it in. Put the pipe on top, I've drilled a hole going straight through, put just an aluminium rod through the holes, tighten it on with the drill clamp hit bit here so it's nice and secure. I've wrapped some tape around it going all the way along the inside and that just helps the belt to actually grip the aluminium rod. Not sure you can see that the belt's just resting over that. Um, so then at the top, another aluminium rod here, held in place with some pins, um, belt comes over the top of that. When you turn it on the belt rubs on the top here creates friction up here which is what you want. So see that's working nicely, we'll move on to the next part. Alright so I've got the motor here, we've got the belt all in position, next part is actually the brushes. So what they are, they're just lots of fine bits of wire that come to the bottom and the top of the rollers, not quite touching the belt but very close and that makes static electricity jump from the brushes onto the belt and pushes up and jumps from the belt then onto the top brushes and into the big ball. So for the brushes we need some very lots of fine bits of wire and what I'm going to use I've got this welding clamp here, just a normal welding clamp. You can see on the inside of it, there's this copper braid here, and that's, what's, that's really good for what we want it for. I take that out. Um, I've also got here a brush from a, an old motor. I'll use this if we need as well. You get started with that.
now that brushes are on, just a quick recap of what I've actually done. So the welding clamp bit of braided copper is out here. Um, you want to have it, not sure you can see that, but so the, the end of the brush is right next to the belt, but not quite touching it. See, that's there, clamped it to the side with these bolts here. And underneath, it came to this bit of aluminium tape. And that provides a good contact with the ground, because that's where it gets all the electrons from, to push it up into the belt. So that's, that's the bottom brush here. Now at the top here, this, I used that brush from the motor, cut it down, clamped it together, and then you can see it's sitting just right above the belt. Not quite touching, but right above it. Next part is actually to put the ball on. Alrighty, so now the motor's done, the belt's done, and the brushes are done. The last part to do is the ball on top. So I'm going to use this bit of PVC fitting here, slap that on top, glue it, on, glue it in place. The ball will sit on top of that. And for the actual ball, I'm going to use these IKEA bowls. Got two of them here, so we'll be cutting a hole in the bottom of one of them, sticking it on top. Then I've got some more some aluminium tape here. Just take the two halves together, and then it'll sit on top nicely. Right, so here we have here's the brush here. Got the ball on now. Um, inside, I've put some tape going from the ball to the top of the brush, so they're connected. Things on, balls on, the only one thing to do now, go and test it. Alright, that was pretty cool, some pretty good results there, happy with that. So that's how you make a Van de Graaff generator. Please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any videos. We're doing a couple more things with this, so keep an eye out. Catch us later.